take US dollars. So, <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Hey guys, good morning. Good early morning, about 12.30 a.m. Just landed in Cairo. Got through immigration. Um, when I get to my Airbnb, I will talk about the immigration process, getting the visa on arrival, which is what I did here. It was a fairly streamlined process, to be honest. Uh, it really didn't take that long. Uh, like I said, it's like 12.30 in the morning. Um, I booked an Airbnb in downtown Cairo somewhere, um, the owner of which hired a driver to come and pick me up. His name is Hamid or Hamida. So, um, I'm just going to grab my bag from the carousel right now and then we're going to, um, he should be waiting outside. We're just going to, um, grab a ride into, into downtown Cairo. Um, all right, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. First full day in Cairo. Sorry I didn't record anything when I got back last night. I didn't get back to my Airbnb till about 1.30 or 2 o'clock in the morning. And I just kind of came back, took a shower and crashed. So um, the Airbnb I got is insane. Um, it's like a whole apartment here. Just take a look around. So I'm not sure if that did it justice or not. I'll give like a full like tour of it later on, but um, it's awesome. Like every room has a balcony, it's sick. So first thing on the agenda this morning is to try and get some full for breakfast. Um, it's like an Egyptian staple. It's from what I understand seen kind of all over Cairo. You can get it on the street. You can get it kind of um, in restaurants. It's like, a, it's like a fava beans dish that um, is cheap, plentiful, hearty, um, and it's kind of like a breakfast staple here in Cairo. So I'm gonna try and find that and um, probably then take a walk over to Kana Khalili Market. Um, so, all right, let's, uh, let's go explore Cairo. Classic breakfast staple consumed by millions of Egyptians every day. You'll find it served at street vendors, tucked away in little alleys, as well as restaurants and hotels alike. This was my first meal in Egypt, and I found this little place almost immediately after leaving my Airbnb and entering Cairo's busy and chaotic streets. So what is full exactly? Well, it's basically fava beans cooked down in a huge aluminum or copper jug over flames with oil and salt and other spices. They serve it with a host of condiments and extras like cilantro, hard-boiled eggs, a side of pickled vegetables, and a generous helping of Aish Baladi, or Egyptian flatbread, which you find baked on the streets all throughout Cairo and other Egyptian cities. It's filling, absolutely delicious, 
and insanely cheap. You eat it by hand, scooping the full out of a tiny metal bowl with the flatbread, and standing at a street stall, eating full out of a bowl next to Egyptian locals heading to work for the day. This is the thing you need when traveling to Egypt. This is the local food that you're looking for. So back in my Airbnb, I just took a walk around. Um, first impressions of Cairo, it's absolutely nuts. The traffic here, I read a lot about it. I watched a lot of videos about it, but like actually being here and experiencing it is like insane. The traffic, I, I, your biggest risk in this city is probably crossing the street, literally. Um, but I just tried some fuel, which was awesome. It's just basically like, a classic breakfast staple, like I was saying here in Egypt. You literally just order it, eat it on the streets, and out of like a little metal bowl, there's like five or six people around eating with you. So this is just um, heading out to my balcony here. So every room in this Airbnb has a balcony, and uh, I'll give you some shots here of what I have. So, so far I haven't actually vlogged out on the street yet. I'm not quite sure. So I'm staying in the downtown area. I don't, I don't know um, how people generally feel about the camera down here. I've, I tried to pull it out last night in my Uber, um, or not my Uber, my, my private ride from the airport. And um, he was like, no, don't take that out. I don't feel like getting arrested tonight. <laughs> Um, I'm still kind of feeling it out. I'm, I, I haven't picked up the camera and actually started talking into it yet on the streets. Um, but I'm going to take an Uber now over to Khan al Khalili Market, which is the Islamic part of Cairo. And from what I uh, understand, it's a little bit less intense, a little bit more favorable maybe to, to cameras. Um, but I'm going to head over there now and kind of explore that bazaar and get some lunch. Uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. filming on otherwise it's just constant bombardment from um, you know locals and patrons trying to sell you their stuff there's actually a ton of stuff here um, and you know a lot of it's just like knickknacks but I think there is actually some high quality stuff here too um, so it's just a sprawling labyrinth I mean I've covered probably one tenth of one percent of it already but I mean it just goes on and on and on um, and so far everyone is incredibly friendly. I feel very welcomed, um, so it's quite nice. place that was just around the corner from where I'm staying here in downtown Cairo and it was really cool it was like one of those um, like old like super old school um, smoke filled bars and not that I've ever been to Cairo and certainly not that I've ever been to Cairo in like the 1940s but that's definitely what it felt like it felt like the movies that you see like Casablanca and things like that of this part of the world not that Casablanca is from this part of the world it's not but you get the idea. So, um, just got home. The agenda for tomorrow is 
pyramids in the morning and then I'm going to be going back to Kanakali Market for a little bit and there's a place that I want to try there too that has um, stuffed pigeon on the menu so I'm planning on going back for that after the pyramids. So Kanakali Market is in Islamic Cairo and it's a it's interesting because the way that like the city is so old right and these buildings are dating back the streets and the buildings date back to I mean, this is Islamic arch architecture going back centuries. The street layouts are just constant. It's just like a, a huge labyrinth, basically, because it's full of dead ends and um, just corners and dead ends. And you kind of are walking down these streets and it feels like you're walking down alleys, but they're actual, like real streets. Well, like it's absolutely beautiful. You walk for what seems like a really long time and you only cover maybe a mile to a mile and a half and that's what I did today. Like I spent all day walking around Islamic Cairo and I got like, I got as far as like a mile basically on the map. So it's just so interesting, you know, to see like how this city is, is laid out. That's the plan for tomorrow. Probably just gonna continue to kind of walk around and explore. That's what I like to do most when I get to a new city is just kind of walk around, explore, um, kind of get lost and just see what see what I find. So far the people have been pretty receptive of the camera. Like it's just been like almost like bombarded with people like as soon as you kind of take it out and start talking into it. Just just really just good humored people that want to try and sell you things because <laughs> they see the camera and they think Westerner with a camera equals money. Um, and you can't really blame them. You know what I mean? So um, that's it for today. Uh, have a good night.